So today's video is a little bit different than what we normally do. It's a collab video with my buddy Elliot Snyder and the guys with Freelance Duck Hunting. I went with them last weekend for the uh, opening weekend of the Kansas duck season. Really excited, it was a lot of fun. If you like Freelance Duck Hunting, smash that like button and also let me know in the comments below if you like us doing collabs from time to time. We may be doing some more of these types of videos in the future. I've been watching the Freelance Duck Hunting channel for a while on YouTube and I've you know, really thought it'd be cool to highlight what they do. What they do is so much different than what I do. I'm a, I'm a duck hunting guide on private ground. They are on public ground. And so I thought it'd be a really, really cool video to kind of highlight that. So that'll be part of our docu-series down the road with Freelance Duck Hunting as one of our features. So this week we're gonna kind of be previewing that, let you guys kind of see a little bit about what that might look like. So that's what we're doing this time on Surviving Duck Season. Surviving Duck Season, offering you the best waterfowl content. Subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and don't miss any of our great content. Presented by Mojo Outdoors and High and Dry. Hey everybody, I'm Joel Strickland. Thanks so much for joining us this time on Surviving Duck Season. I've got my good buddy Elliot here with me from Freelance Duck Hunting. For those of you who have not seen that, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can check out his channel and subscribe to it because he's got some really great hunts. Welcome, Elliot. Thanks, oh, thanks for having me. It was and, a great time. Well, thanks for having me for the uh, first weekend of the season for Kansas. It was a, a great time we had. Uh, shot a bunch of ducks, had a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed spending time with these guys, kind of finding out uh, firsthand what they do. So Elliot, tell us about freelance duck hunting. Being freelance duck hunters is just going wherever you need to go to get on the birds, whether that's public land or, or private or whatever. It's just being mobile, moving around, finding the birds, not fixed to one location. Um, and in my videos, you know, my goal is to appeal to the common duck hunter, the common public land duck hunter specifically, so that when you're watching my video, hopefully you can associate with it and you can be like, yeah, that's how, that's how it is for us. I, you know, that's, I just want it to be real, to show the real thing. We don't limit out all the time. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, sometimes we do stupid things. Sometimes we sink our boat. <laughs> I mean, it's just to be real is the main goal of freelance duck hunting. And also I really want to highlight the relationships between people in our crew uh, my dad, Carl, who we call Fumblemits, is a huge part of the channel. Um, he is kind of the mentor and the sage that's been doing this for so long. And then there's Aiden, who we call Golden Boy. He's 22 and just one of the most likable, lovable <laughs> characters you ever want to meet. And then when Jeff is with us, old Corn, he's kind of the jokester. Kind of, you know, likes to make fun of people in a funny way and just keep everyone laughing and and I really try the best I can to get interactions between us and just show not only the duck hunting, but who we are, what we do, what we're about, even share some of our spiritual beliefs from time to time. So when you have that crew, you know, of buddies that you hunt with all the time, you know each other so well, you can make fun of different things. And, you know, I honestly, uh, you know, not knowing these guys, I mean, Ellie and I have been, you know, talking on the phone and stuff for the last few months, but you know, I've, I've never hunted with him before, you know, this weekend, but I mean, I felt like, man, these are like, these are like my, my bros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fit right in. You really did. It's funny because when you, when you meet someone and hunt with them that you never have before, you just don't know what the chemistry is going to be like. And it did just kind of feel like you'd been with us for a long time. Honestly, it was a quick, easy mix for sure. Yeah. And we did so much scouting on Friday. And through all our talks and everything, I found it interesting getting perspective that you're like, you know, I just don't have to put that into the equation. It's like, what are other possible other guys? If we sit up here, what might other guys do to screw it up for us? And where, what's the best place to set up? Not just based on what the, where the birds are, but the birds plus where other hunters might be setting up that could screw up what we're doing. Well, and, and it's like, you're, you're out there devising your plan all right, this is what we want to do. And then, okay, well, we got to take into consideration. We got to get there before somebody else. And, and where are they going to go? And, and, and there, and there, other guys are doing the same thing. We are, all of that is just completely out of the equation for me. We, we 
go where we want to go. There is something really, really satisfying about either being the first boat to the boat ramp or the first truck to the parking lot because it's like out of all of the people that know about this place, I'm the one here first. I'm the, a little bit crazier than everyone else. Because really a lot of what you do in duck hunting is you're just kind of crazy. You know, you sit out in the rain, the, the sleet, the zero degree temperatures, you know, you get up and I mean, two, getting up at two o'clock is not just an opening day thing for us. We get up at that time, lots of times in November and December. And it just takes being a little bit crazier than, than the other guys. And there's a feeling of we, we have more passion for this. We want it a little bit more than everyone else. And we're the first ones here. I love, I love that emotion about public hunting. I have hunted in Kansas probably every year for like the last, probably the last 20 years, whether it's pheasant hunting or deer hunting or turkey hunting, mm -hmm. but I've never waterfowl hunted That's weird. in Kansas. That's weird. And it's not that far from Arkansas, yeah, you know? Yeah. And so the main goal for me was to shoot footage. Yes, I, like, I love hunting, you know, I like to kill, kill a duck just like the next guy does, but really wanted to get footage and help tell uh, tell the story of what the uh, freelance duck hunting crew does, but I did get to pull my shotgun out for a little bit today and I shot my very first duck of the 2019-2020 season. Killed it dead. Killed it hammer dead. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that close of a shot. I mean, it was out there a little bit. Yeah, pretty good. One shot, one kill, and uh, a little, uh, little green wing teal, and so, and it's also my first duck from Kansas. Yep. I have also never hunted from a kayak or a canoe or anything like that. I mean, we have some layout boats that we use from time to time, but pretty much I drag them in, mm -hmm. you know, and set up and hunt. And then a lot of times we'll leave them there for a while. Very, very interesting. I, you know, I've heard of people hunting out of kayaks and canoes for, you know, the last several years it's gotten very, very popular. And I'll be honest with you, I just didn't get it. Yeah. I mean, it's like, what? I mean, it's like, why is this a big deal? For us, it's all about being versatile. And if I, if I could just keep one tool that I had and give away everything else, I would keep the, the kayak. Wow. I mean, these kayaks that they're making now are really just, a, they're really just layout boats. Um, they're lighter layout boats. And having that piece of equipment, just, it's so much more versatile than a big boat with either an outboard or a long tail or, or, you know, and we don't, we're not big fans of boat blinds, um, big boat blinds either. So it's just, it's just all about getting where you need to go and really about being as versatile as possible. Right on. Careful the decoys. I'm not sure that was what I meant by be careful the decoys. <laughs> so really enjoyed getting to spend time with you guys uh, the last couple days, learning how y'all do what you do is so different than, than what I do. You know, and, and those of us that have YouTube channels, it's a lot, a lot of work. Uh, doing the different things that we do and everybody's perspective on duck hunting no matter where you live where you hunt uh, it's it's always different but I gotta I gotta say that I'm I knew kind of what you did just from watching the videos but my I am like so much more impressed with what you do with your channel seeing how you do it you know the struggles that you go through because we all struggle i know that if i tried to do what you do with the gear that i have it ain't happening yeah, yeah. too high end well it's just it's too much gear it's too much yeah. stuff to fool with yeah. and it's just i mean it's okay to do it like a couple times a year but you would not do that every week yeah it's got to be mobile well i'll tell you the important thing that i try to do with my filming is i don't want it to destroy my hunting experience. 
So my number one thing is it has to be mobile. It has to be able to be brought out and put away easily because I want to hunt. Hunting is my number, this is the number one thing I'm doing. I'm not, filming is not the number one thing I'm doing. I'm hunting and trying to, trying to show the experience. So having things light and easy is, is a must. Some of us, and I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching this, is we're just ate up with waterfowling. I mean, it's like your blood's pumping, you're excited. I mean, it's just, and it comes to a point on public land, it's like there is absolutely nothing we won't do to put ourselves in a successful position. Unless it's so dangerous, we won't do it. Which there's very few situations, ice on a river being one of them. But it's like, I don't care how much effort it takes to do something. I don't care how bad the mud is. I, there is, I don't care what the temperature is. It's weird how eaten up those of us that love this can get with it because it's not like a choice. I mean, I know it is, but it feels like being hardwired to do this. And it, it's just over, it's over, overwhelming almost, really. When I say surviving duck season, what does that mean to you? Being a, you know, nine to five, or in my case, 7.30 to 4.30 work, you know, worker during the week. But then we, we work so hard during the weekend and get up so early that we start duck hunting second weekend of September and we wrap it up kind of mid-February with goose hunting. Going that long where I'm grinding my job out during the week but then getting very minimal sleep on the weekend, it starts to really wear you down. And not only that, it's just the emotions of it. I mean, it's like you have a bad day and you're kind of down or you have some, some other guys out in the public land doing things that you don't agree with or beating you to places or whatever. And it's just like a lot of emotion to it. And just the amount when you're, when you're as passionate about it as guys like we are, you're thinking about it all the time. You think about it. So it becomes a mental grind. It's it's not just a physical grind. Um, it's a mental, because you know, for someone like you, when I think of it for you, it's like you're going out every day. And that is a totally different kind of grind than mine because I'm not going out every day. I've got my weekends. So it's it's an emotional, it's a mental uh, grind and and somewhat physical as well. So that's what surviving duck season mean would mean to me. Thanks to Elliot Snyder, his family, and the crew from Freelance Duck Hunting. Had a lot of fun with them on, on this trip. And uh, like I said, down the road, we're gonna be putting together as part of our docu-series, uh, a feature on Freelance Duck Hunting. Now, if you're interested in seeing some more of our features, you can check them out right here. Also, make sure to check out Freelance Duck Hunting's YouTube channel. I've got a link to that as well. Until next time, good hunting and God bless.